Sit really still. They're more comfortable coming close to you when you're sitting. I was sitting here for about 15 minutes before he came anywhere near me. His friend was not ready, but took note that his buddy getting the peanuts remained unharmed. Okay, so the first step is to find a squirrel. Step two is to show him the goods. I got a peanut. Would you like it? Oh, okay, so step three is trying to get them a little closer to you. They won't come closer to you. You can always toss them the peanut so they can get a taste of what you've got. And then you just kind of keep tossing them closer to you. And closer. Come on. And closer. And closer to you. And closer. When they grab the peanut, I always like to kind of sit and hang out while they eat it so they see that I'm not a threat. They're not right next to me, but they're all eating them. Okay, now step four is to try to get them to take it out of your hand. Yay! Um, <laughs> so, this one's friendly, so he's going to take it right out of my hand. Okay, they're not wanting to take it out of your hand. You can tell he's scared because he puts his tail over his head. You can crack it. He hears that it's a nut and then musters up the courage to take it. Okay, so if they're not coming to you to take the nut, you can always place it in the tree and then they will notice that you left a little treat for them and they'll recognize you. He doesn't want to leave that other one behind. <laughs> When you're feeding them in a tree, you want to make sure that you don't hold the nut too far away from the tree or else they'll reach out and grab it, which sometimes they can scratch you. So what I like to do is I like to hold it up against the tree and then they will just grab it with their mouth. Pretty easy. This one's happy.